Okay, so we've arrived in our BIOS by starting up our Mac 250, holding the menu button down on the remote control, then reconnecting the power to the Mac 250 and this screen will appear. Okay, now we want to factory reset our box, take it back to scratch settings. So that's default settings. So we'll scroll down to default settings and then we'll use the arrow to select and we press OK. Now don't be surprised to see wrong image come up because it will then go OK. Now you might then choose exit and save and that's it, you factory reset the box. But depending on your connections, depending on the setup, you might need to change a few other things. So we go to the boot mode and we choose NAND2. Now I'll try default setting again. Now the other option for boot mode is DHCP. Again, I'm going to try default setting. Now, I'm going to exit and save, but I'm going to put it back to NAND because that's where we boot from. So now when I exit and save, hopefully we're going to open up in the inner portal. Now, if we don't open up in the inner portal, you need to redo the steps, repeat, change the boot mode, exit and save, then reopen up in the BIOS, then change the, uh, the boot mode again. It, it can be that real pain that that's what you've got to do, but we're going to see what happens now. So, okay, we're going to reboot. And we're loading from NAND, so we should start to see a load come up. Checking image. I'll leave this video to run in real time, but at this point you should have done enough to now have got yourself with a factory reset Mac 250. course now you've got your factory reset mag 250 it's a good idea to try a, a proper service on it so why not try ours uh, you can have a free trial of our IPTV service uh, that's UK TV for you that's UK TV F O R Y O U dot com uh, the links in the description below um, and you can see um, see our service and see what we can offer you so now we're loading up and again we're Fingers crossed that we're going to open up in the inner portal, which we should have done. We've gone through each boot mode. Um, and once we've got to the inner portal, obviously, then uh, we can add the correct portal URL uh, for the service you require. So as this is loading up. That's it. So it's factory reset the box. So if you then go into settings and you were to choose system settings, and you were to go to software update, you can then see in the URL is the standard informer who's the manufacturer of the box. It's their setting in there. That means your box is completely reset to a factory reset. So as I said, if you wanted to use our service, just here, into servers, choose portals, into portal name, UKTV for you, into portal URL, you type in uktv.noip.me. Once you've done that, uh, restart the box and you've got uh, our system set up. Obviously, you need to email us, use the link in the form below, and you've got a full free trial for 48 hours. Thanks for watching.